We want to be the table that hosts important conversations to this community. We want to convene those groups to look to the future and plan. Community Foundation of Greater Des Moines is very important to us. I can do the program work and, and get out and see the people in the community, but it's really important to have someone for all the details. We can get the donors but to get all the legal things done and, and make sure all the investments are made correctly, um, it's really wonderful to have the Community Foundation of Greater Des Moines to work with. Uh, Kay Legere there, has, uh, she comes up with great ideas. Uh, she is uh, proactive in making sure we're staying on track with what we need to be doing. I think, again, it's, it's being able to, to marshal the time and keep us focused um, and do the legwork that we can't do. We just don't have the time to do. And you're locally run, and I think that's the biggest thing. I can drive five minutes or ten minutes and be at your offices. I can talk to the people that are investing the money. The, the, the head advisor comes to the zoo and comes to our meetings, and you, you can't get that anywhere else. We wouldn't be where we are without them. They, they took us in when we were little babies and said, okay, here's how you do accounting, you have no idea what you're doing, and they really shaped what we have now. So I don't think we would be anywhere close to where we are in terms of our administrative side without them. It's, it's extremely important. It gave donors peace of mind, and it continues to give donors peace of mind, that when we say, yes, you're giving, you're, you're giving money to Des Moines Social Club, but all of our accounting is done and kept at the Community Foundation, every single donor that I would ever say that to was, oh, great. They're all familiar with the foundation, they understand it, and any trepidation they may have had went away as soon as I said that statement. The Community Connects with the foundation has been an integral part of uh, providing mentors, if you will, for, for young growing leaders in this community. It's been very, very successful. The foundation has had a, a, a lot of experience uh, dealing with uh, donors who had assets that, uh, other than cash that they wanted to uh, give to the foundation. I can think of a privately held S corporation that was accepted as a gift and some residential properties, vacation home. They're very good at this at this point. I think anybody who has any money, I think feels a, uh, a sense that, you know, they didn't get there on their own, be it help from, you know, from God, from their customers, from their employees, whoever. And so they realize that they need to make sure that they support others and to give back to the community and to the causes that they feel strongly about.